Welcome to Triple Eight News. I'm Chris Liu. Chronic kidney disease is on the rise, affecting one in ten Australian adults. And although mandatory isolation for positive COVID-19 cases ended last week, COVID infection has emerged as a risk factor for chronic kidney disease. We are now joined by Paul Perot, Chief Executive of CSL, a leading global biotech company. Paul, great to have you here today. First, since CSL recently acquired Swift Company, Wyville Pharma, which specializes in kidney disease and iron deficiency, please tell us how this acquisition will further advance public health. Kidney disease and iron deficiency affect millions globally, and we see this acquisition as another great opportunity to develop and offer products that save and improve lives. Kidney disease is a rapidly growing market, estimated to exceed 261 billion US dollars globally by 2030, and this is driven by aging populations and rising rates of obesity and diabetes. Then we have iron deficiency, which is estimated to affect three billion people globally, and is often left undiagnosed and untreated. We believe. Our capabilities and scale, combined with Vifor's experience and knowledge, means that the combination of CSL and Vifor is greater than the sum of its parts, allowing us to better protect the health of communities around the world. Thanks, Paul. Now, your vaccine business, CSL Securities, recently secured a 30.1 million US dollar deal to test an avian flu vaccine candidate. What global trend do you see in the near future that warrants developing this vaccine? Recently, flu activity has been very low due to COVID-19 mitigation measures, but we believe influenza is certain to come back, and it's a matter of when and how severe. Since masks are off, and there are less restrictions on human movement, now human-to-human transmission of avian flu has not yet been detected, but a few cases were observed last year, and influenza strains such as avian flu present a serious pandemic risk. Thus, we need governments, regulatory agencies, and vaccine manufacturers to take appropriate measures. To ensure proper and rapid responses, this vaccine deal will allow governments to prepare for potential pandemic scenarios, and we have everything we need to make it a trained workforce, standard operating procedures, and regulatory documents. Thanks. I also like to ask about your workforce, since Australia currently faces an economy-wide skills shortage. And skilled migrants are having a difficult time finding employment. What is CSL doing to attract, develop, and retain skilled migrants? Well, we have a significant track record of recruiting skilled internationals for high-ranking positions, and ethnically diverse talent represents fifty-five percent of our U.S. workforce. We intend to build on that. Because maintaining a globally mobile workforce means we can share resources and enhance skill sets between countries, plus provide professional development opportunities for incoming skilled migrants. This is important for long-term business stability, especially for firms like ours with globally integrated manufacturing operations. One of our many initiatives. In place is called Promising Futures, which emphasizes digitalization, automation, employee development, and customized rewards for attracting next generation talent. And we have established early career programs for STEM talent around the world to build our future talent pipeline. Thank you for joining us today, Paul. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Chris. It's a pleasure.